Hey there guys, welcome to another battle report. This is another first play battle report. Yeah, we're playing a lot of new stuff this at the moment. Uh, we're going to be trying out Mantic's new Walking Dead miniature board game hybrid. This is Tony. Tony's brought it over. Thanks for bringing this, Tony. Uh, we're going to try it out. Me and John are going to play and Tony's going to run us through the first basic scenario from the All Out War box set. Um, Tony's also brought some really cool scenery and stuff along with. And he's painted all the miniatures. Well done, Sony. Yeah, all from the basic, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Lots more so we're going to go over the board. We'll go over some of the bits and pieces and we'll tell you what's going on and then play through the game. Let's do it. Right, we've deployed. John has the initiative because he's got Rick Grimes. So he'll do the first action. On your turn, a little bit of an earthquake there. Um, <laughs> um, you get two actions with your, um, your heroes. And uh, they can do a multitude of things. They can sneak, they can run, they can search, they can shoot or fight. Uh, but once you get pinned in combat, so once you're stuck in base to base with someone else, then that's it. You're out of actions that turn. So as you can see, who are you activating first? I'm going to activate Rick, and he's going to sneaky sneak. Trying to sneak up on that walker there. Uh, second action, I can't really do anything at the moment. You can I'm shoot not going to shoot yeah. because noise is bad. All right, so talking about noise, this is the threat level counter right here. And Tony will explain. That okay, we're at threat level one, which is in the all quiet zone at the moment. So the event cards have escalating uh, danger on them as the world gets more noisy and uh, attract the attention of the walkers from the surrounding area. Also, the characters have got a nerve value. So if your nerve value is lower than the present threat value, you roll a yellow dice, which may force you to do certain actions in your turn, not of your choice. Is it mostly just run away? <laughs> it's, well, it's run away, uh, it's scream, make noise, you may be reduced to one action, it's various ones. There is flee. Terrified, which means you can uh, only perform an action. Flee, you run away eight inches, which is, of course, a run, so you will. Track more zone, yeah. You create, wow. yeah. It's like create a knock on effect. Um, there's quiet, which means you can only perform one action this turn and it can't create noise or mayhem. There's scream, which you make noise and then you get uh, one action and you increase the threat by one. And then there's go berserk. Which is a bit positive for you. Yeah. And you can act normally by taking two actions and you add a red dice to your melee attack, but you increase the threat by one because you scream in blue murder as you go berserk. I see. Mm. Okay. All right, so John's had an action. Now it goes back to me. Um, my Sorry. turn to do an action. Mm -hmm. I've got three guys deployed right down here in the front, which you can't really see, but. You will soon. Yeah, <laughs> they'll get into the action pretty quickly. So, first thing I'm going to do is I think I'm going to run straight away and i'm going to run sandra the runner she's going to run so movement by the way a sneak as you can see by this little handy template is four inches run is eight inches and then this thing goes up to 10 inches which affects zombie ranges and things like that so i'm going to run and i'm going to run to right behind this door here and i'll show you that in a second okay that's your activation there. So, oh well, it's a run, so yeah. it's caused, it's caused so, noise. So one zombie within ten of Sandra, the I closest. it's going to be Grandpa. It's going to be Grandpa, it's going to shuffle straight line. So on the flip side of said handy ruler. Yeah, is the zombie movement one. And they do a shamble move. So it moves directly towards, yeah. that's right, isn't it? So he's going to bonk into the door. So he, Grandpa zombie. Hits the door frame and starts trying to tear around it. Right, so that's my action. Uh, my first action was to run. Which created noise in itself. Yep. Um, I can't really have do it. Have you got a second action? Yes. To no. do, what, what can you... But there's not really much I can do. She doesn't have a weapon. I don't need to bring down the threat level. So she's just going to forfeit and her second action. Of course you can't duplicate... Yeah. You can't do the game action, so yeah. you can't do a double run, say. So you can't do another move action. Okay. Well, I'm gonna. You can't really do a lot. Just behind, I'm not quite close enough. That Carl's gonna sneak up as well. Uh, to there, 
and not really do a lot. I'm Is just not... out of search yep. sort of range of that, so that'll be next turn. You do find in the first turn oh, that's good, isn't it? that you might not get to your second mm -hmm. action. Right, so basically, uh, that's John out of actions for this turn, so might as well do a couple of my things. Uh, I'm going to sneak. Um, what's my leader's name? Derek. Actually, I don't know if I want to. I might run. I might do some running again. I'm being very brave. So I'm going to do Patrick instead, and he's going to run to this Ford pickup truck over here. Just around by the bus stop. Okay, which makes noise, which attracts this zombie who goes bong into mm -hmm. the sidecar. Because zombies move in a straight line towards whatever's caused the noise or mayhem. And then my leader, Derek, he has got a pistol. But I'm not sure I want to fire away just yet. So what he's going to do is he's going to sneak up to this car over there. And then he's just going to hang tight. Ah. Uh, I really want to move forward further. You know what? Screw it. He's going to sneak a little further. Actually, there's not much further you can go. So you're going to have to go up to there. Okay. Well, that's pretty much my actions done. Right, so we've all activated. Okay, we have the event phase now. So we have a handy kill zone, which shows you. We put this over every zombie now. And the zombie will shuffle round or move towards any survivors that are in their kill zone. So Patrick is going to get a zombie shuffling around the side of him. Oh. Um, we oh, are going to get Rick one. One, strolling well, into his face. We just had a practice game of this just before this. And uh, Rick didn't care about zombies coming into his... <laughs> no, no. <laughs> and Grandpa he zombie. Zuffles, shuffles around the <laughs> corner. Yep. <laughs> And I don't think anybody else really is in no, the zombies. We're okay. We are good at current. Okay, so then after all the zombies have shuffled from their, in their kill zone to survivors, we have drawn a bank card. Initiative player. Oh, okay. As an event. Right. Oh my god. Uh, this one's titled Feeding Frenzy. <laughs> Sounds um, good. Now these have got different actions depending on the threat level. Show it to the So, camera. I mean, at the moment. We're only going to use this top one. So you see, uh, we're, at we're the moment quiet, we're quiet. We? Yeah. So I've not read that yet. That's it. it doesn't <laughs> sound good though. <laughs> Feeding frenzy. So what we got? All quiet and low threat. Uh, roll a black dice for each survivor engaged in melee uh, against one or more walkers on a on a sheriff symbol. Bloop. So it's fifty fifty. The model loses one health point. Uh, if there are no models in melee, add one to the threat level. Okay, so we've got a few in melee. Two. So I'll do <laughs> three, yeah. A Rick. He takes. What did you roll? No sheriff? damage. No damage. Yeah. The start, the sheriff's badge is no, always on good. The, on a oh, star, on the a model star. loses oh. one health point. So actually, Rick gets munched. Is that the black dice, or can I look at the card? Is it the black dice or the blue? Oh, it could be the blue dice. It's the blue, it dice. the blue dice. It is the blue dice. So. So on a is hit, a... yeah, on a hit, it's a splat. So you'll take one. Okay. It only says you take one for it. I think, I believe it says. Yep. All right. Well, then I'll on any splats, it takes one. Are you short now? It must be a black dice, because otherwise. Oh no! That it, top it's, one. It's black dice for the, for the all quiet. Uh, which the bad news is, when it gets to medium for it, it would be the blue dice. Okay. Which is pretty much an instant kill. So I rolled. Um, the sheriff's bad, so I still take a point of damage. Right, I'm going to roll for Sandra. She's fine. And, and Patrick, he takes a point of damage. Yeah. How annoying. So that was that first event. All right, so now he's going to combat. Okay, there is melee, so we've ticked up to number two. Yeah, We're so still in all quiet. Whenever there's a melee during the melee phase, the threat level triggers up. It's fighting... Right. It's, problems. No matter how many melees, it only goes up by one, by one. if there's any melees. Now, as the initiative player, I get to choose which melees resolve first. So let's do Sandra versus Gramps. Alright, so Sandra's down there by the motel. She has a little nifty little ability called Nimble. Um, I roll the black dice. If I roll a sh at the start of a uh, combat that she's involved in, if I roll the sheriff's symbol, she jumps out of combat and moves one inch away. So I've not 
seen her fail yet. Nope, she got it again. <laughs> so she steps away. Yeah. Is she going inside? Is she going to dive through the window? How does moving... Is she... she can't get through the door. No. That door's been wedged solid. So would what she just on? jump on the other side of the door? No, or... she has to go back Backwards. this way, yeah. All right, and so... you'll note that the handy measuring thing is at the it's end, one, one each. Right, so she jumped out of the way. Okay, uh, next melee, we might as well do Rick. Let's do Rick. Versus Le Zomboid. Is he going to shoot his pistol? No. So that's an option, isn't it? It's an option before the combat starts. You can shoot your pistol, but when we come to the hand-to-hand -hand fight bit, you can it only defend. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use. And of course, it causes mayhem. Yes. So it may attract everything within ten. 10 is it? Yeah. yeah. Brutal. No. So I'm gonna use uh, his hatchet. So Rick's melee is one white dice. His uh, hatchet gives him an additional white dice, and because of having his son within the kill zone, he gets a red dice. And said zombie gets. One, one red. red dice. Obviously, multiple zombies add more red dice for them, so getting hit. That's oh only dear, one. one. <laughs> That's not good. Zombie one. got one. Well, there so, we go. it's a draw, and in a melee, if it's a draw, survivor wins. So, said zombies knocked back an inch. And then tumbled over. Okay. Well, Rick, not quite living up to uh, no, not what happened in the last game. <laughs> and then Patrick. He's got a baseball bat, which gives him one red dice, and his basic attack is a white die. And his baseball bat allows him to re-roll the red die. So, I got two. Um, bad, no, I'm not going to re-roll that. rolls one. Mm. So, that's one hit. So, that blank that out. One hit. There's no exclamation marks, which are the headshots, which would have killed the zombie if damage had got through. So... All that happens is zombies knocked back and on his backside. Okay. Right. So even though you got more quite damage, knock him out of the yeah, field. You needed that. Uh... Let's put that there. But Patrick's pretty hard. That is the end of all of that. So now what? So that's, okay. that's the end of first round. It's end phase. What would ha What happens now? Any bitten characters, which there are none at the moment, would roll the black dice. If they got a blank, they would take a damage. Okay. And then any walkers that are laying down roll a black dice. And if they roll a star, they stand up. A sheriff's badge, they stand up. So there's somebody here. No, no, no. I bet she gets up. 50 50. Yeah, yeah, yeah be of course. Good. Causing Ooh. John some issues. And uh, that's it. Right. So that is one turn. Initiative. Boom. So initiative comes to me now. And that means I get to do the first action. I think I might do Patrick. He might search that Ford pickup truck. So, I never mentioned this before, but uh, the way you win the game is obviously finding these search, these little looted tokens. So when you search them, they're in the cars and there's a couple lying around on the outside. Uh, as soon as you find them, you pick them up and add them to the character that found them. So Patrick has just found this. Also, when you pick them up, you get to draw from the supply deck, which looks like this. And let's see what I get. Hopefully, it's... oh my god, I found a lurker. <laughs> <laughs> that truck is the worst. <laughs> okay, so <coughs> apparently he didn't actually check the driver's seat. There's a lurker inside there who attacks me with the two red dice and the bike bite um, rule is in effect. So an exclamation mark means you're bitten. Yeah, I got defense as well. Yeah, don't you I? got defense. So luckily, Patrick's got two red defense. So what do you got? That's a real good defense. Two, two to the uh, one. One, so I take a damage. damage. Oh man, it sucked. Wow, <laughs> that was the worst truck, man. I've been through that truck a few times, and there's nothing there. <laughs> okay. Look. So, so that was his first action was to his search. Action. So his second action is going to be to skedaddle out of there. He's going to move. So he's going to do a little bit of a sneak, and he's going to sneak past this zombie that he knocked on his ass, and he's going to go behind the wall there. So. Okay. Alright. Uh, something similar for me then. What um, are the Grimes family going to do? Little Carl, he's going to two to there. Let's go get another two to there. And he's going to have a little look-see in this car, I think. Now he knows the lurkers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so he's going to have that and then draw a card. I have 
A Molotov! Yay! Range weapon. Six. Blast. One use. Adds two red to the ranged attack roll. Ooh! Cool. So I can set things on fire. Alright. Then I'm going to activate my leader, Derek. He's going to sneak over to this family car over here. And he's going to search. Even though there's a zombie on the other side. So he gets a search token, and he has found ammo reload. Oh my god! Is that the second yeah. ammo reload? He's already got one of those. As you're well. jangling. You're jangling around with just like <laughs> bullet belts, <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> clips everywhere. So what is the older Grimes gonna do? Older Grimes. Is he gonna try take two versus that? Uh, oh, I don't know. I no. Walkers Are suck. You Oh, you feel me? Um, I, th I feel I need to. <laughs> I'll sneak. I'm still going to be in the threat zone, but <laughs> <laughs> trying to dance around the <laughs> zone. Get out the way! Yeah. Uh, go to there, and then I'm going to use my special ability. Ability, leader ability. Stay calm. So instead of performing a hold your nerve action, which is basically calming your companions and reducing the threat, which is I get rolling to do a dice and different. getting a uh, rolling the black dice and, and obtaining get one nerve. Symbol. Um, so I, this special action, I get to roll a blue dice and reduce the threat level by that many points. So I'm going to roll a one. So it goes down by one. Than nothing. Get down the one. And then my last action is Sandra. Sandra. And. Uh, You've got Grandpa yeah. Zombie there. I'm tempted to just run right past him, which might drag him towards me again anyway. Well, it will yeah. immediately drag it towards him. But then she can jump off him, hopefully. Or I can try and sneak past him. But it's not very far. And it'll just be, yeah, I'm going to run. Screw so, she's going to... About three to get to that. Yeah, so I'm thinking three to get past him over there. And then... I don't know how many left? She can run eight, so five. We'll say gonna get to the counter. Yeah, so she's gonna run all the way to there. Okay, move. She's made noise by running to move Gramps. Shuffle Gramps towards her. Oh. Actually, it might not be Gramps. Might oh be no, it's one. not Gramps. Is oh. him? So he comes okay. over there because there's a zombie in contact with her. It's stopped her action so she can't search the counter. No, she cannot. But she's hard as nails, it's fine. <laughs> I hope you don't dodge this. Do <laughs> yeah. uh, All right. So that's the end of our second round. So now we go to the event phase. Uh, okay. Your yeah. initiative, so. So we got the kill zone bit first. Oh, right, yeah. Oh. yeah. Okay. So we've definitely got one here. Yes. <gasps> uh, no, that one's down. She's in there. No. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. She's going to shovel around the. He. Bob Marley. That's, oh, like, yeah. that's the walking dread. <laughs> <laughs> the walking dread. Um, no. So that's it, I believe. I can't see anybody else. No, I think there. No, he's out. Okay, so now it's event card. Alright, so. This is, there's a storm coming. So it says plus one threat in the top corner. Ding. But we're still in the all quiet section of the game. So nothing happens yet. Yay! And then we go into combats. Because there are combats happening. Threat goes up. up one. We're on the border of all quiet now. Alright, so first thing, Sandra is going to try and avoid combat. So, can you do it, Sandra? Cock, cock. Let's try again. <laughs> Yep, yep, she jumps over the way. a dodgy. She's going to... Oh, no, she'll just dodge there. And then I think Derek will attempt to evade his Bob Zarley. Bob Zarley. Yeah. How's he evading? Not evade, um, fight. fighting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's only got one die in combat, which one. he's got a one. Versus a blank. blank. He had the option, of course, to shoot his pistol. No, he didn't no. want to do that. So, even though he's got tons of ammo. <laughs> so, he's <laughs> yep, pushing it back. back one on his backside. And then, and then Mr. Grimes. Grimes. 
cars out of his little buff zone, so I'm just rolling two white melee. That's Ooh. three. Ooh. And blank! But again, I still haven't decapitated yeah. anyone. Nope, so he's just chopped off a couple of limbs and put him on the ground. Well, knocked him back and down on the back side. Okay. And that is to round That's two the, done. It's the end phase now. Oh, right, so zombies can get up. Zombies can get up. So we've got nobody bitten to that one. Nope, no. Nope. This one? Yeah. No, no. Nope. Oh, she's going to get straight back up again. No, no, she's not. Oh, good. Okay. All right, so on to round three we go. All right, then. So... John's received, received his, his initiative token, so he'll be taking the first action. Right. And who will it be? It's going to be young man. And he's going to do a sniggy snig to the ambulance. And second action will be a search. Let's see what we get. I got a hunting knife. Oh man, I want that. Dual wield sharp adds red to the melee. Now I've only got one space in the pack, you see. So I'm so going to show you yet. So it's a silhouette. So obviously you get an item in each hand on the sides, head on the side, body on the top right there, and then down at the bottom here is your pack. As you can see, Rick has three spaces in his pack, whereas a poor old car just has the one. But trust me, he's pretty pack muley. Alright, <laughs> oh, um, Carl's only got one of those little yeah. penguin packs. Yeah. <laughs> can I swap that out and get rid of the Molotov? No, I'm going to yeah. keep the Molotov. Do you know what? I'm going to discard the yeah. hunting knife. Oh man, I wanted the hunting knife. Well, tough, it's gone. So that's him, but you've got another leap. Alright, so my turn. I. Um... Oh, I'm not really sure what to do here. I think. He, one, three, yeah. So he's gonna go around and search that van as well. Hey, Carl, how you doing, buddy? No, not too bad, not too bad. I found some bandages. Yay! Great. So Derek is filled up his backpack with ammo and bandages. <laughs> uh, that's him done. Okay. Let's do. He can't leave. He can't leave little Carl there with the big black man. <laughs> <laughs> That's just not right. Where would I go? In the, pre go? In the previous game, Derek was panel beating he Carl was repeatedly. A lot, yeah, <laughs> not the best situation for young Carl to have been in. Um, I'm tempted to go. I'm going to sneaky sneak, although it's not particularly sneaky, is it? With the zombies looking directly at me. Go to there Munching and. <laughs> And search that. That's one for boss man. Let's see what ridiculous item I find. I find a burning brand. <laughs> <laughs> this item may not be stored in a survivor's pack, so you I can dump put it. it. I'm just gonna dump it. <laughs> what a shame. What the hell? Why is this burning brand in the back of the car? <laughs> All right, um, I'm gonna activate Sandra. She can sneak there for one. And then for three, so one, and then three across to there. And she's gonna pick up this item here. That's her first search. And she has found an ammo dump. So while carrying this item, the model and any friendly survivor in the kill zone automatically passes any ammo rolls it's supposed to take. That's not really useful when she's only got a kitchen knife. Well, you know. <laughs> You're not going to run out of kitchen knives anytime soon. <laughs> okay, uh, you've got nothing left, don't you? No, that's it. That's... So now it's on to Patrick. And Patrick is going to sneak behind. That is hilarious. <laughs> sneaky, sneaky into the back of this van. Have a look what's in there. Come on. Sneak behind the zombie that's adjusting the wing mirror. Yeah. <laughs> And I found some emergency supplies. Oh, we're finding all the good stuff. Which I might actually As use. you sneak behind, the zombie adjusts the wing mirror and sees you! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and that's it. End of phase. Okay, so we've got the walkers in their kill zones now. So obviously, having seen you in the wing mirror... Yep, Patrick gets assaulted. And... Rick gets assaulted. by Munchy Intestini. I think Sandra might be as well. Uh, She's done. Oh, yeah. 
Oh no, just out. No, you're yeah. out. But uh, what about <coughs> Derek? Ooh, ah, it may not be Derek, it may be Carl. It's oh, Carl. yeah. It's Carl. It's just going to sling around as Derek went. Which way is it going to go? Uh, because he's in range. Oh, Carl. Boom. It doesn't go that way, sadly. Oh, that's interesting. So that's another melee which is going to tip, tick up the. Oh, actually, there's quite a few <coughs> melees. <laughs> <Malise. laughs> so we've okay, gone up few. into low threat now. Yep. Okay, so now the event card. Now the event card. Whoop! 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 Shooting at shadows, plus one threat. Oh, nice. Ooh. All threat levels, all survivors with a nerf value lower than the current threat must shoot at the closest enemy model if they have a ranged weapon. Okay. We so don't have any of that, do we? So, threat's low. Fair so I've got medium and It's high. not high enough to trigger anybody. No. Is it? It's lower, it? it says, doesn't it? Same yeah, if it's lower. lower than the current. Yeah, um, so start with a player with initiative and alternate choosing a model. And resolving the shoot action fully, blah blah blah. Each time a shot is resolved, it will cause me. White, you roll the white dice. Oh. Walkers, a white dice with walkers <laughs> into play. If an eligible survivor has no functioning ranged weapon, it must run exactly as it, um, as if it had rolled a legs on the panic dice. All right. But nobody's affected. But fortunately, by the threat level. None of that enough. matters. <laughs> Woohoo! Okay. Uh, where you want to start, John? Melee phase, is it? Yeah. Uh, let's do. Let's do. Junior Grimes or Carl? Little Carl. Go on then. So he's going to use his single red dice of melee. He's got the option to shoot. I'm. To. Uh, mm, no, that's a really bad idea. <laughs> no zombies to win the No, I'm just going to slap a zombie in the face or not. What did you roll? Zero. Oh, what no! are you doing? So that's two, two damage. Oh, so I get two damage, and it's a bite. And you flip that over. Yeah. Oh. So the in the end phase, when you roll for the zombies to stand up, he rolls the black dice, and if he gets a blank, he that takes is damage. Harsh. That's what you get, man. All right, where do you want to go next? Do you want to try Rick's? Yeah, let's do Rick. Let's do Rick. He's not with him, Carl. He's too zombie, Carl. Two white dice gets him two solid hits. He can't kill anything. Oh, <laughs> two as well. No, it's two against two, so, so it's there's just no hits, so the bite doesn't okay. get through. Thank but he goes knocked Lord. on his bum. So I knock the old zombie over. Oh, yep. Take that. And then Patrick. Yes, do Patrick Kilty. Oh, I'm going to reroll that red thanks to my baseball mat. Come on, two. Two versus the zombies. Okay. I'm not gonna, Salesman zombie is I'm not gonna, gonna kill get... him though. No. We haven't killed hardly anyone. One. 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 So he gets knocked on his butt. Oh, that one. And on to his backside. Patrick's <sighs> leaving a wake of destruction here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Alright, and that is end of round three, I believe. Uh, we've got the role for prone walkers and bitten characters. Oh, <laughs> oh, bitten no. characters. Is your lucky hat gonna save you this time? I doubt it. So Carl is Okay, he doesn't okay, take any more right. damage. And then we've got that one down there. He stands up. up. Travelling salesman. Stay down, Patrick. stay down, stay down. Oh, oh yeah, he gets up. Yeah. Chicken wing. No, you didn't. Yeah, Mr. Muncher. He oh. gets up. Doris at the back of the car. Uh, oh, yeah. Man, they're all getting oh, up. No, no that one's and dead. who's that? Mr. Dread. Dread. He stays no. down as well. Okay. Okay. Well, that's grim. And then initiative passes to me. Then it's threat zones, isn't it? We haven't done that. No, 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 that's before. Oh, no, the we've league. already done yeah, all that's that. that's before the event card. Hence so, why I got bitten. Yeah. yeah. So threat zone, initiative passes to me. So. Oh, yes. Yeah. Here you go. Merry Christmas. And then I get the first action. What am I going to do? I really want to take out Carl, but he might die on his own anyway. I think he's just going to... Might want to zoom the camera up a bit and show Carl behind there. Poor behind the Carl. Ambulance. We push back. His father is just exactly like the, um, <laughs> the show. His father has completely abandoned him, obviously. All right, you know what I'm going to do here? I think I want to trap Carl with that zombie as well. Oh, so I'm going to use... just make a noise as a voluntary? Yeah, yeah, it's an action. So he can sneak behind him. You could just him. slam on the front of the ambulance. No, because that will drive the zombie into the ambulance. He needs to get in line between, get Carl in between. Hey. See, what I'm thinking of doing, yeah, this is what I'm thinking of doing. I'm thinking of moving 
to there and shooting at goal. <laughs> yes, that's doable. Put the... Oh, you can't do this. Pop a cap at the back what of his sort head. What man are you? Derek. So Derek gets one white and one red. Right, so you see this kid grappling against Actually, what is obviously a bite wound on his arm. I could shoot Rick. That would attract the zombies to you, yep. Which would then, they would jump, they would bump into Carl first, wouldn't they? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to shoot Rick. What sort of evil, evil man are you? What are you what's, doing? What's Rick's defence? Rick's defence is a white dice. So I've rolled two and a, and a bullet token. Oh, not a sausage. So you take two damage from the splats and an additional <laughs> one from the... Uh... Wow. Oh, actually, if uh, if a ranged attack roll, if the attack roll has an exclamation, add another white to it. Oh. Another two. So instead of. Oh. So that would have been instead of, I would assume. No, so uh, instead of adding plus one for the exclamation mark, you add a white dice for it. If the attack rolls an exclamation, add a white to the attack roll. Add a white to the attack roll. Yeah. So that's five damage. Had I already taken one? Yeah, you've damage? taken one. So one, two, three, four, dead. <laughs> I no. just shot Rick in the face. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, what a charity shot that was. This Ooh. this could be the, the end of the game <laughs> for you. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> because the it zombies. Maybe. I've just shot Rick. I want to show you guys this. Look at this. I've so just shot harsh. Rick, sniped him in the face, and now because I've caused mayhem. The first thing you got to do is roll for your ammo. So oh, yes. if you don't roll a badge, you're going to run out of ammo. That gun's going to flip over. But you've got ammo to reload it. I got loads. Yeah. That's well, okay. Fine. You run out of ammo. Um, so then the threat level goes up because I've just caused mayhem. Yeah. Bank. Then the zombies move towards okay. the mayhem. Well, that one's going directly towards you and hits Carl. Carl. That one's going directly. Let's get it the right way. Shamble directly towards you. And I'm getting a stack of zombies here. Yeah. Is that in combat with Carl yeah. as well? That's two zombies in combat. But sadly, with you didn't see the one behind you. No, I did. I wanted oh, him right. to go away from um, oh, right, right. Sarah. That's why I fired. And we've got Grandpa. Uh, and yeah, the grandpa, ten. he's gonna get over the hedge. Oh. Oh. See, my cunning plan is now I've drawn the zombies away from Sarah so she can go what? search that. Is travelling car salesman? Oh, yes, travelling car salesman. <laughs> he goes as well. Yeah. Wow, that was perfect manoeuvre by me. Bong. All planned, that was, by the way. Obviously, yeah. <laughs> I knew I was going to absolutely brutalise Rick. different from <laughs> the uh, initial game that we played. Right, so it's your turn now. Yay! <laughs> well, I get to do nothing, nothing because I'm locked in engaged. combat. So, back to me. I'm now going to activate Sandra. Who's going to sneak over to you. I'm guessing that drops. Yeah. And it search. To its search side because it can't be searched again. And I have found some football pads. <laughs> okay. And then Patrick. Patrick might run. I don't know if I want to run though. So I might just. I don't need to run. So he's just gonna do me a favor. Um, move him around towards where Rick's body is. <laughs> <laughs> to go pick up his search yeah, item okay. over there. Yeah. I could he's run, but I'm not gonna. I'm oh, you're gonna snake. Yeah. Okay. And then I. I use second action, I might try and reduce the threat level. Because that'll benefit me. Reduce by... Nope. No, nothing. <laughs> nothing. Okay. So that's all the actions done. Okay, so we've got event phase. Walkers. <laughs> I hate to say this, but... <laughs> the travelling salesman is now in... Uh... No! no! He's going to hit... Yay! He's going to hit... What's the name first? No. Uh... This is Revengi for shooting <laughs> the poor kids. He's not attracted there. And we've got no other ones that look like they're going to be attracted. Okay. There's all sorts of fighting going on all here. All sorts of happening now. And now, now it's a vent card. This is the first time we've actually had multiple zombies uh, yes, against yeah. single people as well. We're on low threat. So the zombie, the threat level goes up to... Oh! oh. Whoa. Uh, we're still on low threat. So... Two white dice walkers into play and are then each moved towards the nearest survivor. Oh dear. I'll let you roll. So that's three. three. 
and I'm going to enter them. No, it alternates. It's individual. Oh, so oh, right. you choose one. Yeah. But you've to got initiative, initiative to you choose. One. So I'll do the first one. I'll take this guy and I will put him. Where's the least likely to interfere with me? Down here. So he's going to come at the bottom here. And then, what did the rule say? It moved. It moves. Walk it into play and then each move towards the nearest survivor. So the nearest survivor is going to be Patrick. So he's going to go clonk into the car. Well, Next one. I'm going to choose chicken wing. <laughs> clonk. And then I will move her also down here and she will go there. In case you know moves. Patrick, I would say, is the closest. Yep, straight into the red well, truck. She, yeah. well, she can go I'm replace just... that lurker that was there before. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay, that was the event card. And so we've got the Millies. There are Millies. So yep. we've gone up into medium oh, for yeah. it. It's escalating rapidly. Right, so I've got initiative. I choose where combat starts. I want to start with Carl. Of course you do. <laughs> okay, well this works. The first zombie gets one red dice. The second zombie gets two red dice. So you roll it all at the same time? Or roll it all at the same Great. time. I get a red dice. Come on, kill him, kill him. He's bitten, he's reeling, he's got no defence. And he takes one, three two, more three. damage. One, two, I'm technically dead. Right. Yeah. However... He's got a oh. lucky hat. I am a lucky, lucky boy. You've Obviously not. You're not going to pass this No, I'm not. Every time... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The previous game, he didn't get killed. But anyways, uh, lucky hat. I get to roll this black dice. If I get a share of symbol, I immediately get back up with one move. Oh, come on! Yay! I still one more turn. I'm still bitten, though. Yeah. Still bitten, One though. more chance to kill him. Now, snap, snap. Patrick as well, or whatever, Derek... Derek, Derek, he's got three dice against him for two zombies. I wonder if I might use my gun. Do I want to use my gun? Yep, you can use your gun before the melee starts, but then you can only defend him. Please move away as well. Yeah, yeah I'm going to use my gun. I'm going to try and reduce some of the... Oh, I don't know. It is, yeah, I'm going to I'm going to use my gun. Okay, I'm going to try and shoot Okay, which these. causes mayhem, which puts it up by one, and what attracts... Is mayhem? Yeah, it's a gun. Uh-oh. Which attracts... Attracts. Does this mean we get a third one in? Oh, uh, maybe this was a really bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> we'll That's attract. what happens when you panic. That one in. And this one. Um, well, they were the they ones that were with you. They, yeah. Oh, they fall over, yeah. don't they? Makes them non eligible. Alright, so here's my ranged weapon. Oh, that's not bad. Oh, my Four and a, and a decapitation. On. So, four damage, you split that up, so you're going to knock. Um, well, you got to roll your defence, don't you? Well, that's true. I've got to yeah. roll my defence. <laughs> Do you combine the defence? Uh, no, it's against one. You're shooting against one. Okay. It's not melee. Melee, you share it oh, out. Oh, yes. Melee yes. shared out. So, which one are you, Who are you shooting? Who are you shooting? Gramps, Travelling Salesman, or... I'm going to go with Gramps, Ooh, just Gramps. because... He's just turned up. Yeah. No, you can't shoot Gramps, because he's the one he you attracted there, in. Yeah. All right, I'm going to shoot this guy. Salesman. Oh, that hurts. Uh, so so he's four damage to him and killed yeah, him. He's killed. Headshot. Headshot. But I'm, I'm in no better position than <laughs> no, I was. Oh, no actually, oh, it doesn't really matter. I get another white die for what it's worth. This is the melee now. No, the oh. the range for what All it's right, worth. Let's just put more damage on. Okay. Um, so now we're going to melee. I'll just get one white because I have to defend now. Yep. And I've got three dice attacking. I've got one. Kill him. Yay! Yeah, three, two, two so damage that, and a bite. So that knocks that out. Yeah, so two damage and a bite. So flip it over. He's oh bitten. yes. Good. That's what you get for being evil. <laughs> He's got bandages. <laughs> okay. Do I have to reload my weapon? Uh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. You are out of ammo. Out of ammo. Okay, so, so is that discard action? this card as, as an action. You have to reload. I got plenty of that. Okay. That ends the phase, isn't it? Sort of. So no, just... there's still Patrick's fight. Oh, yes, Patrick. Oh, yeah, chicken wing. Yeah. Forgot it. Where's the white one? <sighs> All right, so baseball bat. Two. Two again. Two. two. But it's a bite, but it's two versus two, so it knocks him over. Knocks him over. Oh, yeah, what happens drop. with these two? With these. Uh, what was the attack there? Uh, I lost. You lost, lost so you get knocked back an inch. The zombies don't get. Okay. 
<laughs> what happened there is because Carl couldn't knock back. He lost the fight. He was in the the attackers. The winners have to go back. But now we have to roll for zombie bites. And zombies getting up. And zombies yeah. getting up. So zombie bites first. Well, Carl dies. He's got on one health. He's dead. He's dead. Is he though? Lucky hat. Oh, no, he's not. <laughs> Son of a <laughs> <laughs> stupid hat. Each time he's reduced to zero health. He's he's. I don't know how the hat saved him there. He you take a health. Point. Oh, Derek's feeling a bit iffy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't feel so good. And then you want to roll to see if Bob Marley gets up and uh, those yeah. three over well, there. Well, no, let's do the spectacular one first. Zombie Rick. Does Zombie Rick oh, get no. up? <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot it. he's going to take. They're all infected with the virus. Yeah. Zombie Rick, Rick stands yeah. up. God. Uh, I'm going to orchestrate it that his dad come eats him. <laughs> uh, that lady over there. Yep, he's yeah. up. Well, that's really freaking dangerous over uh, there. Mr. Muncher. Yep. yep. Jesus. Uh, lady next door. No. Uh, yep. No. Zombie Dread. And one behind no. Patrick. And one behind Patrick. Yep. yep. How annoying. All right, and that is the end of the round. So initiative boss is back to, to you. Right, well, then. What is Carl gonna do? <laughs> do you know what I'm gonna do? He's gonna let off a bomb. I'm gonna swap first. I'm gonna put the Molotov in my hand. <laughs> then, <laughs> in my deranged craziness, <laughs> because I'm not doing too good at the moment, I'm gonna throw the Molotov. I swear to God, if the lucky hat saves him from a Molotov <laughs> explosion. <laughs> Right, so it's blast one use, adds two red to the ranged attack rolls, and then roll one black dice for each walker beneath the template on a uh, star, they receive a burning token. So I'm actually going to lob it on, I guess, this fella here? Why are you not lobbing it at Patrick? Can I do that? <laughs> yeah. Right, you can get, get everyone. Get everybody. <laughs> Huge Smash explosion, yeah. <laughs> it's like a slam dunk with a monocle. Okay, let's do the zombies first. It's okay. a star for each one to see if they get it. Uh, this is... Right, so it's a blast. One use. Yep. Adds two to the range attack roll. And then roll a black dice for each one to see if they're set on fire. So, so I guess I do this versus Patrick everyone first. first. Yeah, yeah. I assume, and then everybody does a defence damage. Is it against everyone? Yeah. Let's do chicken wing first. He's going to die. Yes. <laughs> Massively. <laughs> Massively. Whoosh. So he's incinerated. Lying down do... zombie. Oh yeah, lying down zombie is... Not a lot happens. So how many was it? Uh, just the one. So uh, defence. No. Yep. Is she burning? No. 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 So yeah, she's okay. okay. I'm going to do Gramp zombie. He's he, potentially he's dead. dead. He, he's in actual fact dead. Dead? Yeah, because two blocks those two, but you've okay. done two damage to... And then three on this fella. Uh, it's a single one. So let's see if he defends. No. no. Is he fire? No. no. So is he just knocked down then? He's just knocked down, but he's not on fire. And then the main target. Derek! Three! Where's the white dice? Suppose me a white one. Three, come on, two. So oh, I take wow. one more damage. That's not so bad. Am I on fire? Uh, Are you on yeah. fire? <laughs> no. no. Yeah. Now me. <laughs> Carl. One. <laughs> That's all you need. <laughs> Is Carl on fire? <laughs> Am I on fire? Yeah. Oh, no. it was gonna be. Does my lucky hit save me from the Molotov? No. 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 <laughs> he goes up in flames. <laughs> Heroic last stand by Carl. I'm assuming now that everything on his side is dead. That one side's end if the game. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that turned out different from the uh, previous game. Massively different. <laughs> well, the first game I won, I think, 63. It was 63. Yeah, because uh, I collected a lot of coins and we ran out of time with the threat tracker. This one, I've just <laughs> obliterated the grimes. Just with a single <laughs> shot to Rick's head. <laughs> You can see the carnage as the Grimes family is taken out. 
Oh, wow. well, one Grimes has come back. Uh, so, yeah, I'm not sure it counts. Does, the other one, does, uh, does Carl come back? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Another <laughs> zombie. <laughs> Derek is running around a mayhem of fire and guts and stuff. Bleeding out. How many health is he on? He's on one. Does he bleed out? Does he get bitten? No, see the end of the go, yeah. Does his infection kick in? No, he's no, cool. He's, oh, boom. he's, he's going to use bandages in his next turn. <laughs> and the ammo. Well, there we go. So, we've finished our first get. Oh, the first play of um, Mantic's Walking Dead miniatures game. What did you think, man? Oh. <laughs> you obliterated me! <laughs> no, I like it. I like it. Um, that was very different from that first game that we played, where yeah. it was quite subtle. We were almost sort of working together. I think what really helped is... Uh, an alarm went off and all the zombies just went straight drag back. yeah and it was basically that's just running around scavenging and stuff this time. Uh, what I really liked is the way that you can use the zombies against your opponent just by like you know going behind them and going yeah. <laughs> and then all the zombies come at you <laughs> That's quite that's also right. because of the random events and the random supplies and stuff like that. You never know what's quite no, going to happen. happen. Yeah, like, maybe there's a lurker in the car. Yeah, or yeah. some fire hoses. Or a firebrand, <laughs> or an extinguisher. But we won't. They are from another supplement, not yeah. base set. There you go. What did you think, Tone? Yeah, I'm, I'm just amazed how different it was I mean, from the practice game. Different, Wildly yeah. different. This one escalated really quickly. Yes. A bit, bit quicker, but ended quicker. Yes. Um, that. One major turning point of that shot by Derek, yes. which was a sniper rifle yeah. in the head, and it was just a whimsy. I was like, Oh, I should call on the back of the head and drag the zombie in. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I should, well, no, I'll just try and whittle same, Rick same down a bit. Well, it had, had more effect on Carl, probably because well, it killed Rick, but then attracted all the zombies that were around into that Poor little yeah. fire. Got bitten. See, Derek leads by example there. You know, he took on the Grimes on his own, took both of them out, yes. and a swarm of zombies, with the help, of course, of Carl's Molotov. Yes. <laughs> but then I really love the way that Carl went out. Yeah. I'm down, I'm out. I'm bleeding, I've been bitten. My dad's dead. Yeah. I'm taking you bastards yeah. with me. <laughs> That's something I see him doing as well. He's pretty badass. All right, oh, well, that I'm was pretty fun. to playing that again. Yeah, we're good at, maybe we're going to get more, uh, Tony around for some campaign games around this. I'd really like to yeah, do this. Yeah, I'll work out a campaign system because... You said there's stats to If you in the back, buy right? the Days Gone By expansion, you can build... There's a point system in the back to build your own survivor gangs. I'm, so I'm going to make so, me and Rosie... I think I'm going to do that. I've got that uh, lady with the bazooka. Yeah, I think we'll use, <laughs> we'll use some of that. Yeah, let's do that. Have you got more of these tiles, Tom? I've got two more tiles at the moment made up. That would be plenty. They are um, plain road ones with a grass bit in the middle. Nice. Cool. Well, that w that's us uh, finishing with this game. Thanks for watching, guys. And uh, we had a lot of fun. Hope you enjoyed the battle report. And we'll be back soon.